Hello YouTube, this is Smriti, you are watching Tech1857. Welcome to the first video of this brand new channel. As you will know from the title of this video, this video is all about the camera image quality of the OnePlus 7T. But before we get started, here is a brief background about the genesis of this video. The OnePlus 7 Pro was launched uh, back in the first half of this year and the popular image benchmarking website TXOMark rates that camera higher than the OnePlus 10s Max sorry, the iPhone X Max and, uh, and the Google Pixel but, but, but the YouTube community in general has rated the camera from the OnePlus 7 Pro as you know, above average for the price point but never really challenging Google Pixels and the iPhone X Maxes of the smartphone world so that's the debate we're going to settle as part of this video we're going to fit the OnePlus 17 against the iPhone X Max and try and figure out which is the better camera phone before we start, if you don't know it yet, DxOMark is a popular image quality benchmarking website. It has not reviewed the OnePlus 7T as of making this video, will therefore refer to the review of OnePlus 7 Pro and assume that the image quality remains largely the same. DxOMark rates each of the two camera phones across different subcategories and then provides an overall photo score using its proprietary algorithms. Obviously, we are not private to those algorithms, but what we are going to do as part of this video is rate the camera performance across each of these subcategories and try and figure out ourselves if we align to the DxOMark scores. The first subcategory that we will start with is exposure and dynamic range. Now, we are not going to get into the technical details of what these mean, but in very simple terms, exposure is the amount of light that reaches a camera sensor and that determines how bright or dark the overall image is. The iPhone XS Max has a smaller sensor and a smaller aperture while also going for lower ISO in most shots. But despite that, what's immediately apparent is that the iPhone tends to take brighter images and has a colder color temperature than the OnePlus. That would mean that iPhone would always produce bluer skies than the OnePlus, although OnePlus is closer to the actual color of the sky. That said, both phones take well-exposed photos of daylight scenes, and here are some more examples. The characteristics from the first pic are repeatable. iPhone produces brighter images in bluer skies and has an overall colder temperature. It's only when the light goes down does the optical advantage of OnePlus become apparent. As we can see in this picture, OnePlus is able to expose darker areas of the photos better than the iPhone. In the next photo taken at dusk, the iPhone overexposed the sky and misses a lot of details that the OnePlus manages to capture. Now let's, let's focus on the golden clouds in the picture just above the trees, which the OnePlus is able to retain well, but iPhone blows those clouds in these pictures. In even darker situations, it's the OnePlus again which manages to expose the photos better. At night, iPhone goes for a warmer tone compared to OnePlus. Once again, the OnePlus, which is more accurate. The next frame is one where dynamic range of the scene is higher than the dynamic range capabilities of most modern day smartphones. OnePlus, as you see, is able to retain more green and details in the leaves, as well as more information in the clouds. Now, in conclusion of this first category, I agree with you so much that the OnePlus takes better exposed photos than the iPhone. Where I tend to slightly disagree is that the amount of the in my assessment is a little higher than the XMR presents. So we're going to give a 7 to the iPhone and 9 to OnePlus. Okay, let's move forward. Let's go to color reproduction next. If you noticed already, the default color temperatures from OnePlus and iPhone are very different and can produce strikingly different photos of the same scene. But uh, let's focus on photos where the temperatures are not so different from the two cameras and for the sake of comparison let's also put in the Nikon D5100 in the mix. As you can observe the OnePlus produces truer to life colors whereas iPhone goes for amped up punchy colors. In the next picture we actually have very close color reproduction with OnePlus and iPhone and it's very difficult to pick who preserves the color best. Now if I take the liberty to drop the Nikon again and go back to one of the earlier photos Observe how the leaves on water are more green in iPhone than on the OnePlus. In artificial lighting conditions, iPhone and OnePlus produce similar results, 
with iPhone erring on the colder side. Once again, I think the OnePlus has got more accurate representation of this photo inside the Samsung Opera house in Bangalore. On venturing into further darkness, interestingly we found one scene in which the photo from iPhone produced a more pleasing and accurate color temperature and was more accurate than the OnePlus. Well, that means it's two in two for the OnePlus already, isn't it? But uh, to be fair, the OnePlus produces uh, more color accurate photos as well and along with a more even exposure, more accurate exposure, it's got to be more optically accurate uh, image producing smartphone of the two. Um, but having, that, having said that, let's move on to the other categories. Uh, let's go on to noise and texture. In these two categories, DxMR discusses about the fine detail and noise trade-off that cameras typically make. So let's go back to our images of the Bangalore Palace and I can immediately confirm the findings from DxMR and vouch that iPhone generally takes more detailed photos and preserves more details in its photos at the expense of being slightly more grainy or noisy. In artificial lighting and low light conditions, the advantage in preserved details fades away for the iPhone quickly while still being slightly worse in terms of noise. So there it is, the iPhone is right back and um, it produces photos with slightly more fine detail in it, especially in daylight conditions. So we're going to hand the victory, the, the victory to the iPhone there in that department or in that subcategory. We're going to give a 9 to the iPhone in this subcategory and the OnePlus gets an 8. And, and, and in terms of noise, while the OnePlus manages to keep the, no keeps, to keep the noise level slower in most photographs, uh, I doubt that would be very important or significant to most users because most of the most photos from these cameras are going to be uh, seen in small handheld devices or at best they're, they're going to be printed at very small dimensions. So I'm going to give a 1.8 to the camera in noise and 2 to the OnePlus in noise again. We'll move on to the zoom category. Uh, and one, one thing to notice is that in TXO mark, uh, you know, compares the zoom performance of both these cameras across small or medium range, which is the 2x or 3x zoom, and also in the long range, which is the 8x zoom. Uh, I'm not quite convinced that 8x zoom performance is all that important because I'm not really going to zoom in all that much with a, with a mobile camera. So let's just compare the telephoto cameras of both these smartphones. The image processing algorithms remains the same even in the telephoto cameras. The iPhone will have the more vivid, bright photo, whereas OnePlus will produce a better exposed photo with better colors. But I will not penalize the iPhone for the same reasons over and over again, obviously. In fact, the iPhone has OIS on the secondary camera and in most scenarios, the OnePlus produces images with poorer contrast compared to the primary phone. The iPhone gets a 7 in the zoom subcategory and the OnePlus, OnePlus gets a 5. So there it is. So two two victories for the OnePlus, two victories for the iPhone, a half a victory for the OnePlus as well. The things are warming up, and there are two more categories left for us to decide who is the overall winner. The two categories are bouquet and the night mode. The bouquet is another subcategory where DxOMark hands a victory to OnePlus. But let me tell you right away that I like the portrait shots from the iPhone as well. The tendency of iPhones to overexpose the photos works well here. In most situations, the face of the subject is well exposed as it should be in a portrait photo and there's a lot of detail in the photo. There's not a whole lot to choose between the two on a daylight image though, but in closer inspection we can conclude that the iPhone loses out on edge-to-edge -edge detection. When the light drops, there are some more interesting observations. In this twilight shot, the iPhone was able to expose the face well, like in most photos, but again, there's a lot of noise in the iPhone since it shoots from the telephoto camera. So the bouquet is a closely fought contest to me and I don't really agree with the assessment on the XMR that you know OnePlus really beats uh, the iPhone by that margin. But I like what the OnePlus does here. It, it kind of aces the edge to edge detection and also provides you added versatility in terms of providing you you know, the ability to shoot for free shots with both your primary and the zoom camera. So, and in closer analysis, I think I'm going to hand the victory to the OnePlus here, but um, the points are going to be 
OnePlus gets an 8 and the iPhone gets a 7.5. Before we move on, here's a recap of what's happened so far. We have tested both phones across six different categories and the overall scores are within touching distance. The iPhone is behind by only 1.8 points. Further, we'll not test for autofocus and artifacts. Both phones use face detection autofocus and there's little to debate there, whereas artifacts is a little too technical for this comparison. That said, let's go to the final category, night mode. Well, spoilers first. The difference in image quality of images shot by the iPhone in day and night is quite literally day and night. The OnePlus really shines compared to the iPhone in exposing better and capturing more details thanks to its bigger sensor and longer exposure. But if we also bake in the presence of a night mode, well, let's just say that the iPhone is served its biggest defeat in any subcategory in this comparison. Here's a final look at the scores before we wrap. While we may not agree with the ExoMark scores in every category, we do align with the overall scores and with the assessment that OnePlus 7T is a better camera phone. So there you have it, that's a wrap on the comparison and uh, I must say that I'm pleasantly surprised by the performance of the OnePlus 7T. I never thought I would say this before making this video, but OnePlus 7T actually runs very close in the camera quality department to the iPhone XS Max and like we saw in the comparison actually beats the iPhone tennis Max in a lot of subcategories that, that we saw today. So so yeah, I mean I mean it's it's obviously not the iPhone 11 Pro, so it's not the latest and greatest from Apple and we and if you compare the OnePlus 70 or 70 Pro with iPhone 11 Pro Max, uh, it could be or should be a different result. But but given the fact that, that the OnePlus 70 costs I mean, still costs lesser than the iPhone tennis Max by a bit margin in India it's actually less than half the cost. That's a great achievement from OnePlus. It's, it's beautiful that OnePlus is able to pack in all that tech in, in such uh, in such a lower price point. So yeah, I am positively surprised. I hope you liked the video. If you did, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more such content of this channel. And until then, until the next video, I'll see you. Goodbye.